Okay, friends, Doc South here. Uh, I, 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 it was a while ago, uh, or, you know, a day or two ago, uh, that I uh, learned that, uh, well, I, I did a video about the Van Boon Schooten Museum, the Daughters of the American Revolution, Chink Chwudska chapter. It's a fundraiser for them. They do a thing called Christmas in July. And I, I mentioned how uh, the 27th uh, Infantry uh, from, uh, from the Civil War was going to be doing a, uh, they're going to do an encampment at the, uh, uh, at the, uh, at the open house, uh, again at the Van Boonschuten Museum. And uh, I, I thought, well, you know, maybe I should talk a bit about them. I don't know, uh, again, this, I don't think this will be a learned discourse. <laughs> I am definitely not Professor South. Okay. Uh, I, I, I just use the name Doc because I try to make people feel better. I uh, certainly don't have a PhD in anything. Uh, the, um, I'm not sure I could even spell PhD, tell you the truth. But the, um, but, but I did want to, uh, uh, yak a bit about this, um, about this regiment. I, I, I looked them up as best I could today and I tell you, they got a story to tell. It, ba basically, uh, in the, uh, gosh, I guess it would have been late 1862, with the Civil War raging, uh, this uh, a bunch of uh, uh, folks volunteered for duty in the uh, in the twenty seventh, uh, New Jersey. They uh, they signed on. They were basic. Let's. They were basically from this general neck of the woods here in New Jersey, uh, Morris County. I think maybe some of Passaic County. Uh, of course, Sussex County. I, I I would imagine even Warren County. I I would think. Uh, they, uh, they, they, they signed on for a nine month tour of duty. Now you think, gee, nine months, well, but heck, you wouldn't even be out of, uh, training, uh, nowadays, but well, let, let's get their story. Okay. Uh, they, they, they put in a wild nine months uh, and then some, okay. Best I can say, uh, they, they, uh, again, uh, they, again, basically it was late 1862 uh, they they volunteer. They uh, they go for training down in Newark, New Jersey. Evidently, there was a, a fort or an or a camp down there, and um, they uh, well they uh, they they trained for about a month, maybe I guess about a month and a half, and off they went. And uh, man, I I don't know. That doesn't seem like a whole lot of training, but I guess back in the day that was customary. Uh, they wound up serving uh, for a while in Washington, D.C., probably trained some more down there uh, just to get, the, the, you know, get themselves a little more into uh, uh, you know, the, the military discipline they would need. And uh, next thing you know, if I understand it right, and again, forgive me if I'm wrong, but if I understand it right, next thing you know, they, were, uh, they found themselves at the Battle of Fredericksburg, uh, which was not uh, uh, that was not a place for anyone, let alone beginners. I don't know how the, I don't know what the casualty rate was there. I could not seem to find it, but, uh, I, I'm sure they did not get through unscathed. And it was certainly a, a real test of fire, uh, under fire, shall we say. Uh, they, uh, I know the, uh, Fr uh Fredericksburg battle, I think that's one where they had this awfully long, uh, wall and a field you had to go across that was just no cover and the southerners uh, the the southern army was behind that wall shooting as uh, again as the uh, um, northerners the union army was trying to take that position it it was not pretty uh, many 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 casualties uh, and um, in fact I seem to remember at Gettysburg uh, when the uh, southerners uh, got got pretty much creamed at uh, Pickett's charge, a lot of the uh, northern soldiers uh, stood up and hollered, Fredericksburg, Fredericksburg. In other words, Pickett's charge was kind of, yeah, the the south's uh, Fredericksburg. Uh, you know, it, yeah, it was, I guess, payment back. Uh, horrible battle in both cases. Uh, but the, uh, well, I guess there's no good battle. You get right down to it. And, uh, but then after, uh, after, um, 
after Fredericksburg, I believe they also, uh, the uh, 27th wound up down in, um, they went to Newport News, uh, which is down near, uh, gosh, I believe that's down near um, Norfolk, Virginia. They, they had to probably go by ship. I can't imagine. I don't think you could, uh, I don't think you could, a uh, Union Army could easily walk through uh, Eastern Virginia back in those days. I, so I imagine they, they, they took the boat probably a good idea. I don't know quite what they did there, but they saw some uh, service there. Uh, then next thing you know, they're, uh, they're being uh, sent over to uh, protect uh, the, uh, I guess, the Western Maryland uh, region, a very, very mountainous. You know, you think Maryland and you think Baltimore. Well, you go into the mountains of uh, Maryland and you got some doozies uh, there, some pretty wild terrain. And they, uh, they did a lot of uh, back and forth there as well. Uh, in fact, that's probably where they suffered perhaps their worst of casualties, uh, the 27th. Uh, there was, uh, they were below the, south of the Cumberland River. I'm not sure what state, I want to say, well, it might have been Western Maryland. Uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming it had to be. Uh, again, there's a number of states all kind of come together in that neck of the woods. Uh, they, they had gone through, there was evidently, uh, this would have been, I'm assuming in uh, the spring uh, and up in the mountains, evidently there was a wild, um, wild mess of uh, rain. Uh, and, and evidently quite a f more Southerners, uh, more of the Southern army than they had hoped to meet. Uh, and the, uh, the soldiers in the 27th, and I assume others with them, uh, we're told, uh, guys, tonight uh, we're, we're, we're going to try to get across the uh, Cumberland River where it might, we might be a little safer. Um, we, we're going um, to back up, uh, uh, you know, retreat across. Uh, so tonight, on the chance that we might get jumped, we don't want anyone in tents. Just lay out your mats and uh, sleep where you, where you get. Yeah, just, just close your eyes, get some sleep, but keep one eye open. And uh, they had to be ready to boogie uh, in case there was a, a night attack or an early morning attack. Uh, so that's what they did. And they laid out there in all that rain and cold uh, with no, no protection from the elements, the wind and rain. Uh, they eventually woke up, I guess, well before dawn and made their way to the Cumberland River. Exhausted, they were pulling uh, uh, all, you know, all sorts of uh, equipment uh, through the mud, the mountains. Oh my gosh, it, it had to be awful. And they get to the river and the, the river's flooded, but there are uh, what I guess coal barges that you could, uh, you, you, could get, you could get across on. Uh, as bad luck would have it, while they, uh, they were of course loaded with full pack, uh, uh, knapsacks and uh, equipment, uh, I guess, loaded down with uh, cartridges and you know, whatever ammo they needed. And uh, they load, uh, they get onto these barges and start going across. I assume they were pulled across barges or, or maybe they paddled them. Either case, it was not a, not a good spot to be. And as bad luck would have it, uh, one, at least one of the barges flipped. Uh, capsized and uh, spilled all the guys into the, all the men into the uh, Cumberland River. They were loaded down with their packs. I guess couldn't get out of them fast enough. I imagine those packs were meant to stay on uh, under hiking or battle conditions. And um, they, uh, as a result, I think about 33 of, uh, of the uh, 27th lost their, um, lost their lives, drowned in the river. Very, very sad event. Uh, in many cases, the bodies could not be recovered immediately. I would imagine in due time they were. Many of them floated to, southern, to the southern controlled shoreline. Uh, those that went to the northern control uh, did get, uh, were pulled out and uh, taken care of. I, I don't know beyond that uh, what happened. I would imagine uh, the army, uh, the southern army probably did what they could to uh, give the uh, soldiers a decent burial or perhaps return them, uh, uh, you know, under a, a, a bit of a ceasefire. I, I don't know, I, but I would think that would be the case. 
they uh, they wound up after that. That can that was perhaps the biggest disaster befell them. Uh, from what I gather, then uh, they also wound up in. Um, they wound up going over, I believe, to Cincinnati, uh, to uh, again across the Ohio River from Cincinnati. Uh, I, I believe that's Kentucky, and I believe that that could have been uh, Southern Territory at that time too. They wound up though; their nine months was up. They're heading home, and evidently General Lee. Uh, well, that we, I guess, the North found out much to their chagrin that General Lee was. Uh, uh, marauding around in South Central uh, Pennsylvania, and they were asked, uh, with that emergency, that state of affairs, would they stay a little longer in the service of their country? And they said, "Yeah, well, uh, you know, what do you say?" And they said, "Well, okay, another month." And they so they spent the last month of their uh, tour of duty uh, guarding a railroad bridge just uh, in the Harrisburg, uh, Pennsylvania area. Uh, and uh, this was slightly before the Battle of Gettysburg, and uh, General Lee was marauding around here and there. It was, you, you didn't know necessarily where his forces might strike. He was up there with a massive army. Uh, eventually, the Battle of Gettysburg ensued. Uh, they, uh, the 27th wasn't in the bo battle. They were holding in case that bridge, uh, you know, some one way or another, the Southerners showed up to take that bridge or destroy it. Uh, so, that's what they did. They could evidently, from what I gather, I've been told that as far away as Harrisburg, you could still hear, you could hear the cannons, uh, the artillery barrages uh, for the Battle of Gettysburg. So they must have, uh, that must have been really a trial for them to hear all that. And eventually, though, they did, uh, after that, they, uh, after the Battle of Gettysburg and Lee was on the run into southern Virginia, well, then they were allowed to go back uh, home, uh, their duty served. Many, when they got back, uh, re-upped, from what I can gather. It looked like they re-upped, from what I've read. And uh, it was interesting, uh, interesting bunch. And, you know, it, it had to be a wild nine, well, ten months. Can you imagine? Wow. One time, it was long ago, my, uh, my first wife and I had an antique shop, and we bought a box lot uh, locally here in North Jersey at an auction. Had letters in it. One of those letters, they were old letters, uh, and I love reading them. And uh, so I, I'm re I read this one, and I said, my gosh, look at this. I think this guy, this guy, it, it, it showed that you know, it had come from uh, uh, the war, uh, the, the region of the war, of the Civil War, and it was going to uh, uh, evidently a, an addressee in Succasena, New Jersey. And he, uh, it turns out it was from a fella. I had someone research it, and they said, yeah, this fella was in the 27th uh, uh, <laughs> New Jersey. And uh, I, don't, I can't remember his name. I swear I can't. But he, uh, he, was, he wrote a letter back saying how... He was, uh, you know, he's missing his friends, and he, he'd be back soon. And boy, uh, tell the girls, uh, you know, I'm ready to go skinny dipping again, and all, you know, all this stuff. You know, they evidently, uh, well, hey, teenagers are teenagers. You know, he was probably uh, in his uh, late teens, probably the equivalent of a senior in high school. And well, sure. <laughs> And uh, he was, I guess, writing. To, he certainly that letter wasn't being written to his mom, uh, and he was just saying how. Uh, yeah, you know, he, he missed all his friends in the good times. Well, he was one of the fellows drowned in the Cumberland River. Uh, he, he, he didn't make it across the river. Um, sad to say. You know, it's funny. You think of the, how many lives that Civil War just ripped apart. You know, at, at a prime, too. It's a shame. It was a bad war. It was a bad war. I guess there aren't any good ones, but that one, I think, was especially bad friend, potential friend against potential friend. Shame. Anyway, so, uh, but that's uh, what I know of the uh, 27th, and uh, the reenactors, I, I'm sure, could tell you much better than me uh, about the exploits of the 27th. If you ever see where they have a reenactment here in uh, North Jersey, yeah, you might want to go pay them a visit. Good, good bunch of guys. Okay. I, uh, I'd, I'd probably join, but yeah, I don't think they want a guy named Doc South. <laughs> I, don't, 
I know I went up to one of their encampments, say, hi, I'm Doc South. And uh, I don't know, I heard the muskets kind of clicking, you know, the hammers clicking back. I, uh, he gave me the willies. Uh, but they, uh, no, they're a good bunch. Very, very decent people. And, uh, and uh, they treated me nice, even if I kind of had the wrong name to <laughs> at that moment. Anyway, uh, they, they, I think they asked, hey, well, why don't you change it to Doc North for crying out loud? God, what? Jeez, Doc. Anyway, so. Anyway, I'll see you later. And uh, again, like I said, uh, you can find out. They're on, uh, they're on the web. You can get a hold of them pretty well. Okay, see you later. Thank you now, and uh, bye-bye.